we understand the peculiarities of Lagos state how it is housing a lot of persons who are not indigenous mm -hmm. of the state and thus far one we say there's been that peaceful coexistence between indigents and the non-indigents how mm. do you intend to perhaps deepen that since you say you're bringing something different there, 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 to, there, to add to that there are a number of your of your party followers who are saying that uh, Lagos is no man's land. Do you believe that being your name being Rose Vivo? Okay, thank you. It's, it's a very sensitive topic, and I, but I think it's important to start talking about these things. Mm. I'm a very proud indigenous of Lagos, and my family issue goes back. The first colonial government rented the property from my family. Mm. Um, my family produced a second judge in Nigeria, mm. and we're proud Lagosians. At the same time, my family is my fam my heritage is one of mixed parentage. My mother is Igbo, my wife is from Anambra. So I've had a chance, I've spent Christmas in the Southeast. I came to spend New Year with my grandparents, Lagos Island, and in Lagos in general. So I, I, I represent what I would say is a Southern Nigerian. At the same time, I vehemently disagree with the idea that Lagos is no man's land. It is extremely disrespectful. Do you tell, if you say that, do you go and tell some of your follow, some of your party followers? Because that is that the core of you believe that the core of your party followers are those who are coming out with that narrative. Sir, can you go? Sir, can you say sir, sir, public I'm, I'm, I'm literally. You see, so, you yes. see, you see. I'm a politician. Yeah. Yes. But you notice. I'm not doing this. Yeah. I've told you what I mean. I told yeah. you what I believe. Mm -hmm. But there's something unfortunate happening. Mm. You have people on social media. You mm. have people that are taking up pictures, putting Igbo names, and creating a lot of discord. It's very, very unfortunate. And it's happening 
is happening at such a scale that is very, very sad. Because these things actually start to affect people's lives in reality. Because people get angry, they now have start to have attacks well, I, I, and reprisals no, and everything. Are you saying that it's not real that uh, that they are saying that they go? I'm saying master. I'm saying that some people might say that, but the way it has come into the mainstream is actually very orchestrated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I'm saying on TV now that Lagos Lagos have founding members, people that have been here for a long time, that have contributed immensely to the development of the state. Mm. But the culture of Lagos, like you said, is one of coexistence, is mm -hmm. one of openness. Yes. Namdi Azikiwe's largest political base was in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. And he was doing this in partnership with Lagos elites of families that are Lagos indigents. So for me, I want a Lagos Although that... one time he got in conf conflict with them when he tried to impose himself on the... No, but you know, premier, that was the politics. And then, and, and then people now start feeling <laughs> that let's go back to tribal things. Yeah, because, but, because, because of this same kind of narrative that, look, look, we, we own you. I, so I, 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 <laughs> yes, so, yeah. so for me, I want to create a situation where, you know, Lagos State by itself has, and Lagos indigenous generally have a spirit of coexistence. I want to restore that. I want a situation where people are not paying taxes for three years, and then when it's close to elections, people start to, they now start to be othered. You are not one of us. But if we collected their money for three years, threatening them to close their markets, I want to enable businesses for everybody in Lagos, whether you speak Igbo, whether you speak Hausa, whether you speak Yoruba. The point is that you are going to be in Lagos, and your businesses are going to be enabled. They are going to flourish. Oh. They are not going to be stifled. Oh. One, by reducing multiple taxation. Mm. Two, by ensuring that when you work Where is with the multiple taxation? Oh, several. Like, uh, do you know the informal sector mm. pays so much more tax than even the formal sector? And these monies are not being accounted for. And these monies, even, there's no but, direct but, benefit. But, let but, me give you an you example. Have to document it. Yes, you have let, to document let, it. Let, let me give you. Let just me, make the claim no, no, no. I, I mean, we can go all day mm. on this, mm. right? I just gave you an example. 120 billion is being generated by NURTW every year. Mm. How is this money spent? How does it benefit the people, the members of the union? Where that's is this a, money is going to? That's a matter to? for NURTWs. That's a matter no, but, for but, but the thing is that the they, work, they work in tandem with the government. Right? They do. Now, what I'm saying is this. We want a situation where my government is going to ensure that all our capital expenditure is to drive productivity in Lagos State, reduce traffic, have a good relationship with the markets. So you're not just... So, for instance, this is my own solution to this thing, is having what I call the Commonwealth of Lagos. As long as you're a tax main member of Lagos State, you belong to the Commonwealth of Lagos. And all the programs that we do, policies we make in partnership with the people in these different peculiar localities, there's a direct incentive and benefit. So, for instance, as part of my campaign, I'm testing out a micro-health insurance thing. So I've done micro health insurance for about 50,000 people. Just a test. Lagos is no masterland. Lagos ni <laughs> I want follow us there. We pay a reco, only I want to one knee, only I want to do it. We want him then reco care and way up. Ye boot, I be the kid, they want to day to one city, reco, a reco, kiche, a lutician, no mass ladder. What are you so bad, pay a wawi or a tin tio da, but a patagban. Only you can look what about our sorrow ye, and you can be sad there, commissary ye, titty dig by me, time and paddy, would double, a little cut of fear you at it, you know. Kajofi Pade, like Barolong.